I'm gonna go over some features that you can use when you're taking assessments on Mastery Connect. Now I am on the app and this is the app right here. If you don't have it on your iPad, you can get it on self-service. And so the first thing is that we can um, have any of our questions read out loud to us or translate. So I'm gonna highlight that question and I'm gonna hit speak. And now this is speaking the question out loud to me. You can't hear it because I don't have the sound on. I can also click that and have it translate and it will translate it for me in my um, language that I have set on my iPad. I can also change it right here. And the same thing for your questions. You can hover over them, highlight them, speak, and translate. You also have some tools on the right-hand side. So I'm going to, here's all these tools over here. If you click this button down here, you can see what each of these tools are. And then if to hide it because it's blocking the question, you can just collapse that menu. So the first thing that we're gonna go over is the accessibility tools. I'm gonna to click that. Um, you have color scheme. You also have font size. This is the normal font size. It's a little small, so I'm gonna go back here and change it to large. Um, for zooming in, because we're, we are on the iPad, you can just zoom in by pinching and then pinching out, and you can zoom in on that question. Another, another one we're gonna go over is flagging. So if I want to flag this question, I can flag it there, go through, and maybe I'm gonna flag number six, go through, and when I'm done with my test, I can click this but button, which is the review button, and I can see which questions I have flagged. And I can click up there to show me my flagged ones. I can also click on that one, and these are all of the unattempted questions I have. So you can go through that to see which questions you need to answer before you turn it in. I'm gonna go back to four. You also have your notepad, which is this right here. The notepad is something that you have for the whole test. It's not dependent on each question you're at. So if you go through your test and you wanna go and write notes for the whole thing, you can have your notepad over in those tools. You also have line reader, which you can make smaller or bigger and you can have these be also smaller and bigger to help with distractions. Um, it makes taking the test easier when you just focus in on that question. You have your strike through option which is right here and let's say I know it's not B and E, I know it's not that first one and it's not this one and so now when I flag it and I go back it saves those strike throughs so it's helpful if I don't actually know if it's between these two, but I wanna move on so I have time to finish the other ones and I can come back to this. And to unstrike through, you just click it like so. The next one I'm gonna go over is your draw option. This is the one of the coolest ones. So if I click on draw, it has created a space on this whole question that I can draw over top. And that's really nice because you can draw over the question. You can also draw over the answers. And to hide your drawing, I'm gonna unclick the draw and I'm gonna hide it. And the nice thing is that it um, saves your drawing. So I'm gonna go over to another question. I'm gonna come back to here and I'm gonna hit show drawings and there it is. So it saves it for your question and even if I, if I keep it not hidden and I go through and I come back to four, my drawing is still there. And the last um, tool that we're gonna go over is the sticky note option. So to move your sticky note, you can move it up here. You can make it smaller. And if I go into the next question and I come back to four, my sticky note stays on my question. There's also the calculator option. If your, if your teacher has that turned on, it's gonna be there. Sometimes um, you have to scroll through these depending on what tools your teachers have enabled. So those are all of the Master Connect app 
accessibility tools that you can use. These are also on the um, Chromebook or on the web version if you're taking it on the Canvas course. If your teacher has enabled text-to-speech um, dictionary and the picture dictionary for you when you're taking assessments, um, this bar, this menu will be up here. I'm going to hit that play button up there and it will start reading the question out loud. You can't hear it, it's reading this out loud for me. It's gonna keep going and I can hit stop when I'm done. If I hit that gesture up here and I want it to just read this question out loud, it's gonna read that for me. I can go back to here and just have it read the last sentence. I'm gonna hit the stop button. I'm gonna unclick this gesture and then I'm going to use, I'm gonna highlight this and click up here on that dictionary. I'm also going to highlight that window window and then click on that picture and it will show me the pictures. I can move this around like so. So I want it on the bottom um, to make it enlarge. You would click that button to minimize it. You would click that button. And that, um, those tools are if your teacher has enabled them. Um, if they have not enabled them, you also can just use your iPad and internal tools to have it speak and translate for you also.